Hello everybody, my name is Stally111 and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. We've got a 9 plus 10, no it's not 19, it's 21. We're episode 21 in here. We've done we've done quite a bit uh, recently. Um, so we're still in the Boomers uh, area, the uh, Nellis Air Force Base. We just made some young love happen. It's going to be a fairly short episode I think because I am really busy with my life at the moment. I know. Me busy? Uh, funny, yeah. But I am not sure what I'm going to do. Um, let's see what else we can do around with Volare. Help the boomers out. So, let's see what we can do and um, let's help some boomers out. Things that go boom. What's in here? We've already done the museum, didn't we? Yeah, we did. We did do the museum. Now that you know the story of our people. All right. Um. I'm here to make myself useful. Who needs help? Gosh, there's a lot of folks. Argyle's our doctor. He could use help tending to any injured we got. Over at the workshop, Loyal and Jack are always building something. The loyal may not be too happy to see your kind running around Nellis. Thank you, kid. Thank you, kid. So right, so we've got we've been trying to get medicine up a little bit. So maybe we've uh, got to a stage where we can maybe do something to help out. Nope, that's Loyal's house. We're looking for the. Oh, whoops. We're looking for the medical practice, which is over here. I know it's when one of these little. I, I don't know what to call them. They look like mini hangers. Right, this is it here, isn't it? Medical station. Alright, yo. I know Mother Pearl is letting you wander Nellis as you please, outsider. But I have patience to tend to. Looking for ways to help, uh, to make myself useful. I have three patients here who were gravely injured fighting those giant ants in the generator building a few days ago. I've stabilized their wounds, but they're in bad shape. Do you have medical training? I have I have extensive medical knowledge. Let's see what I can do. If what you say is true, you can do us a world of good. Good, good, good. Right, so we've got enough to do that. To see. Right. Injured boomer. Leave him alone. What's my med medicine at? 48. Bucker. And that's getting decreased because of my claustrophobia. Now I can do that, tree infection. With a com combination of her uh, natural herbs, bandages, and some disinfection, disinfectant, uh, you're able to clean the wounds and help boost the patient's immune system enough that he'll survive. So he's going to be good. Been accepted now. I hadn't thought of that. Sexy bugger. That. Right. We'll come back. We'll help some folks. We've got a little bit more towards us, so we're up at 53 now, because we're outside. Oh, Bugger. So the reason is because we're drunk, I think. I don't know. I think we, we are wasted. Oh, oh, it's withdrawal. Bugger. Scotch, so we are an alcoholic now. Nope, still, still there. Um, right, let's go to the generator, because uh, there is something there that needs done. <laughs> Need to clear the ants that th some of those people were um, hurted by. Hurted, hurted. The woman's barracks. I take it Raquel's gonna be in here. She'll probably be the one to uh, initiate the request. Uh, your, your Raquel. Mother Pearl's instructions are clear. You can move freely around Nellis, and artillery spotters have orders not to fire on you. These are extraordinary privileges. Don't abuse them. People keep keep on, you know, telling me this. You do realize I could destroy you. 
I am motherfucking Adam Burbank, and you guys probably don't know if you've just jumped into this, um, because I've not really said his name that much, but yeah, that's my character, Adam Burbank. Mother Pearl said you have a bug problem. Long story short, the power failed a few days ago because giant ants have tunneled into the generator room and set up a nest. I led a team down to exterminate them, but there were so many of them. We lost. Two killed, three wounded. Personally, I think it's more than a savage can handle. But if you want to kill those ants and switch the power back on, feel free. I can hand off you ants. Sure, anyone can. But there's more than a few down there. See for yourself. Oh, one other thing. The ants must be eating gunpowder from the munitions down there. Or something. They exploded when hit by a flamethrower. One of us was using a laser pistol. Same thing. Bullets seem okay. Just don't hit the artillery shells. Loyal's been working on some kind of weapon to use against them. Maybe you should check with him. That is a good thing because that will just make them all explode. We can easily do that. But we hey. do need rest. So we'll check out him, Loyal. Even though he doesn't, he doesn't like outsiders. And... Yeah, we'll see what he's got to say to us, and hopefully it's something useful, and not some bullshit machine that's not going to help us at all. I think I need to place it down there. It puts a frequency in and something. I hope Pearl knows what she's doing, letting you wander around Nellis as you please. Right, old man. Raquel said you got, you're got you working on some kind of weapon to fight the giant ants. I started building a sonic emitter that might do the trick. But it's useless without knowing the exact frequency that would kill the ants. Think of it as a field test. A trial run. If you're willing to take the risk, be my guest. I've got it set to broadcast a powerful signal at 24,000 hertz. Just place it near their nest and cross your fingers. Signal's too high for people to hear, so no harm done. But it might make you feel sick to your stomach. Okay. Right, so we've got that now. Don't think we're going to go down there just yet. We're going to need to uh, grab ourselves some health. Um, maybe we could do that sort of mission? Yeah. So, we're going to go to No Vacancy Town. Good old Novak. Which we're idolized by. We're gonna uh, grab a, a little nap, get our health back up to top tip shape, and we're gonna see what uh, Deputy Beagle's got to say for himself. Um, see if we can. Oh, blame it. Scotch withdrawal. Is it just classes Scotch withdrawal, or is it still alcohol? Alcohol, yeah. Right. So it turns out that uh, having a drink of alcohol every episode wasn't a good idea. Right, we're just going to do a 22 hour jump because I want it to be morning. No, 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 no. Cancel. Yeah. We'll... Uh, it'll be probably night time by the time we get there. That'll uh, probably be like mm, evening, evening, yeah. Evening six five six, we'll see. But uh, no, what's what is the time? Jesus, only took us an hour. No, two hours. Yeah, two hours. Right, let's go see Dr. Deputy Beagle. And uh, in the Vicky and Vance Casino. Right, what level are we right now? We are a lovely. We need to go up to condition level 11. Hey there. Right. Yo, you're not got any clothes. Not, I believe that's my pistol, but. Okay. Hello again. I don't suppose you've decided to help Prim find its next sheriff? What are the qualifications for a sheriff, Cancer? It should be someone brave like you, but more of a homebody. Someone who'll settle down and watch over us. I heard the powder gangers talking about someone in the prison named Myers who has some experience as a sheriff. He may be a good choice. Also, with the NCR so close by, you may be able to get them to take over the town. Not sure why they haven't helped out already. 
Hmm. Who shot the sheriff? Who shot the sheriff? I know I didn't, but I shot the deputy. I know that's not the proper lyrics, but that's all I can remember. And, yeah. <laughs> I'll bring law and order back to Prim, don't you worry. You will? That's just marvelous. I'll start thinking up questions for the interview. The sheriff that was incarcerated up at NCRCF may be a good choice. You also may be able to convince that NCR guy across the road to take the this. town under his wing. Although oh, martial Central law City. doesn't sound so fun. Alright, let's see if you, you're interested. Any luck finding a suit? Oh. Do you think Prim Slim could be sheriff? Well, I reckon he could be a sheriff if you have the skills to reprogram him. That's how I'll look. Don't think I've got the science, but... Howdy, partner. Welcome to the Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. Yeah, sure. Ah, oh, shucks. Hi. System, runtime, error. Whoops. <laughs> Goodbye. Right. So... The Powder Gangers, what's their situation with them? Powder Gangers. Viltified. Vilified. Why did I say Viltified? Vilified. So they, uh, they, they, they want to kill me. So it looks like NCR. Actually, what's the situation? Could I do it? Right, let's go there. Uh, we'll go to the Jean Sky place, skydiving, Jean skydiving, um, and we'll oh, um, reconnaissance mission. Oh, hello. Father Legion. Mm. Take caps. Oh, how did I miss the stim pack? Bloody hell. I've gotten this plane now. Okay. Oh! Where are they firing from? Run, run, run for your life. I don't, oh, there he is, there he is. Right, you know what? Let's give him a bit of his own medicine. Let's get a stick of dynamite out. Oh, we've got two that we picked up from his buddy. Look out! You like that? that? Ha. So you're dead now. Good. Right, let's uh, see if he's got anything good on him. Maybe a stim pack. Could use it with a stim pack because look how low our health has already gone down to. Take the ammo. Could take the Brahmin steak, but yeah, let's take the Brahmin steak. Aid Brahmin steak. Strength plus one. So I think we should try and keep to the high road. Keep to these little hills. Though you aren't of the Legion, you've aided us more than once. We acquire many items on our raids, some useless to us, some forbidden. I've provided you the location of a drop box where you can obtain these items. The box will be replenished every few days. Please be aware that we'll assume any items left in the box will be unwanted and be removed and destroyed. For how long will I get this benefit? Stay an ally of the Legion and we will share our loot with you. If you start working against us or become an enemy, our deal ends. Seems fair. Goodbye. True to Kaiser. Okay. Random, but helpful. Hmm. Don't know where these drop boxes will be. 
and shoot the deputy. Right. I remember I, I befriended the guys up here in uh, NC, the, NC, uh, the New Californian Republic uh, Correctional Facility. Got quite good with them. Right, nearly got the Walker of the Mojave challenge complete. Mm, bugger. They definitely don't want me here. Looks like we're going to have to go with the NCR, get them to go with them. Are we still neutral with the NCR? Neutral, good, good, good. Looks like we're going to have to jump. Ah, bugger. <sighs> decision. Decisions, decisions, right. Take his head clean off. No, his leg. Your head. Or not. Dynamite. Bobcat. I said bobble cap. Don't know why. Just did. So, I know this is a short episode. And I've done quite a few short episodes here, there and everywhere. But I seem to be getting into a lot of busy situations. So I'm very sorry about that. I will just take myself a little whiskey for the end of the episode. And say so thank you very much for watching. Um, please drop a like, drop a comment and subscribe if you've not done so already. I'm going to fast travel to Prim if I can. I don't want to go there. I want to go to Prim. And we'll start it up here where we will continue to find the sheriff. Um, so what did we do this episode? We didn't really do much. We... Um, we prepared the charge of the ants. Um, yeah, we didn't do much. Um, what did we do? We looking for a sheriff. Yeah, looking for the sheriff. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. My name is Stella One Eleven, and you are my audience, which uh, probably a good one at that. Thank you, and I'll see you guys next time here. Peace off.